Barua community is located in Alimosha local government area of Lagos State, and residents in this area depend largely on water wells and boreholes for their water needs. But Barua is also a host community of NNPC pipelines, which has contaminated their sources of water with petroleum hydrocarbon due to leaks, a situation made worse by pipeline vandals. The thing started in 1988, when the petrol entered the system, the water. So since that time, it has been like that. If you fetch it now, you'll be spending the petrol. This problem caught the attention of some senior students of Jacondé Estate's comprehensive senior college, Abesson Ipaja. The students first make a trip to the community to see the extent of the problem. Two quarter samples and then went back to their laboratory to find a solution. Based on their research and series of tests, they realized the water samples retrieved from Barua community defies the World Health Organization's standard for quality water. We did a test on it, and it also showed that it had a pH of over 8.5, and got a shocking total dissolved um, substance of about 175. Here is it, based on the test we did in Uniland. Our conductivity also does not also agree with the um, World Health Organization standard of 1.2 times 10 raised power 3. Ours is about 0 0.1 times 10 raised power 3. Bearing in mind Sustainable Development Goals 3 and 6, which are about good health and well-being and achieving clean water and sanitation for all, they decide to get to work. They come up with their own water purification process called ultrafiltration using materials available to them. We actually started with the sand, making and attracting different solid sand particles in it. After dissolving our Moringa olifera seed into the water, which helps in trapping microbes, we also designed in the way that we added our granular activated charcoal, which performs the job of absorption of color and odor. After doing that, we pass it through the sand again to absorb the different small particles that have come down from the um, charcoal and also through our cotton wood for absorption of tiniest microbes in the water. But the team does not stop there. They go ahead to ensure the water is completely clean and drinkable with their own distiller. After passing our water, our petroleum polluted water through the ultrafiltration process, this is the result we got. And this result is not 100% drinkable for residents around Barua area which is why we decided to introduce the distillation process. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So when this water boils, it is going to go out as vapor, which is why we decided to condense the water. As you can see, there are drops of water, meaning that the water is already condensing, giving us a pure water to drink. OK, so this is the water we collected after condensing, after distilling water. So now. Our water is ready for drinking. So as you can see, I tasted water. The water is, it has no taste, no color, and no odor. The students then decide to simplify the ultrafiltration process by creating a natrifier. We have an attraction part where we get the student excited about what they can do, what they can do with their hands, and what they can become, and what that can bring to their table. So when we discuss this opportunity, we show them through visuals and through the TV and our phones. They are, they are excited to go extra mile. It took the team three months to finish this project, and this final prototype would need to be improved upon before it can be put to use. But they believe that with the right support from the government, they will be able to profile a long-lasting solution to the water crisis plaguing Barua community.